because there are so many options when it comes to creating your outline or your syllabus and uh, your uh, decision on how you create this can be dependent upon the institution that you're with whether or not you need to use a formal template what we've decided to do is provide uh, five examples of diverse syllabus or outlines that you can take a look at to get a sense of what you might want to do and also to identify some key things that you, know, you want to pay attention to that can help you in the development of your syllabus. Uh, the first example that we're looking at is a formal uh, syllabus used at a, at a you know, higher education institution and it's uh, it's a template format and it's got all the key components that we've identified uh, that need to be in the syllabus the description the prerequisites the outcomes the text all these key ideas are here um, in addition to the schedule a variety of other things one of the things that this um, syllabus really does a good job it uh, and it sets the tone of communication it really identifies all the details uh, it even goes so far as to talk about um, professionalism and student behavior and it includes a section about you know turning off the tone uh, the cell phone and things like that and so a, a syllabus can also be used as a tool to communicate um, you know professional conduct within the learning environment you'll also notice here that there are a lot of uh, policy issues and, and statements as well attendance uh, equality equity respect plagiarism cheating you know um, those key details and you know generally in in a formal uh, institution of higher education like a, a four-year college or VCC or BCIT you're going to have to include those types of policies and that will be in the template the second syllabus that we're going to look at is an ESL syllabus from VCC. And, and this one is quite unique in the sense that um, this is shared with the students on the second day. The first day, the, uh, the instructor um, surveys the students to find out what topics they're going to be interested in covering. Um, and then um, after you know compiling the data from the survey, uh, the instructor identifies what you know what will what would be the topics that were chosen by the majority so this is a, a unique type of a setting and, and a unique context um, in terms of how this is set up so again this would be an example if you're doing something unique and different you would have to justify it and, and rationalize it within your uh, rationale uh, document now this this um, Syllabus also does an interesting job in terms of identifying the work expectations, uh, how much work homework is involved. Um, and this is actually quite important in terms of setting the tone for what those expectations are. Also in terms of assessment participation and what the expectations are in and out of class. The third syllabus we want uh, you to consider is um, really a brochure. Um, and it, it was offered by um, the University of Victoria continuing studies and it provides some of the key information in terms of what's going to be involved in, in the course upon completion you should be able to do certain things so it does have the uh, outcomes or goals identified it has the dates it has the registration information but this is really a, a one-page brochure that uh, can be used as uh, a syllabus or outline or as a marketing piece and 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 depending on the context that you're in you know something like this 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 is more of a workshop and so um, you know the marketing component the registration component is is important well this is another example of a a marketing brochure well it, it is an actual brochure and it identifies what's involved in in the workshop uh, who's involved uh, the dates it's a two-day interactive workshop it's got the topics that will be included where it's going to, going to be and if you take a look at the second page you'll see that there is a form a registration form that uh, you know people can use as well and so again it's got a lot of the key ideas the key information the purpose the details the dates you know all, all those key things that are going to be important and so if, if you are in a position where you're doing a workshop and you need to develop a brochure well then you need to justify why you've included certain things within it but this is just a, another option that you can consider this final outline example um, uh, comes from a previous student and this is an example of um, an email message that would be 
uh, sent to a specific audience and this is for a behavioral based interviewing uh, workshop and it would be sent to supervisors and managers and it would be part of the, of the body and it uh, you know the student identified the context identify what would be in the body and you know again there's key information that talks about what the outcomes or the goals would be uh, when who this is for um, the dates and so on and so forth one of the key things to notice here is that um, there is no assessment criteria there's no expectation of assessment and the student justified or rationalized that by saying that uh, within the HR department they don't do assess assessments on workshops um, so a lot of the key decisions for the information that was included or information that is excluded would be handled within your rationale document so we want to keep we want you to keep that in mind so these are several examples that can help you uh, with your course outline or your course syllabus and uh, once again if there's any way that we can help you out or I can help you out don't hesitate to contact me but I look forward to seeing uh, your course outlines and syllabus